Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about matte lipsticks. I know that liquid lipsticks, or I should say liquid lipsticks, is today's video. Um, the reason why I really want to do this video is because I know that everyone and their mother is crazy about liquid lipsticks. Me being guilty as freak, I am a little obsessed with liquid lipsticks. So I wanted to just give you some swatches of the products that I own. I don't have too many, but I do have a couple. And I'm just going to tell you which ones I highly recommend, which ones I eh, kind of don't recommend, and then the ones that I just totally think you should skip out on. But yeah, if you guys want to know which ones are my favorite liquid lipsticks, then just keep on watching. So the first liquid lipstick that I want to talk about is this one by the brand LA Splash. Liquid lipstick in the color Ghoulish, I believe that's how you pronounce it. And I will give you a swatch of this one just so you can see. This is probably one of my favorite liquid lipsticks that I own. So it's that one right here. When it dries on me, it looks a little bit more gray, taupey. Here it looks more like a... It does look like a rosy... Toby Gray. I don't know. But on my lips, it looks a little bit different. Now, this one is probably one of the hardest or most difficult lipstick to remove off of my lips. This liquid lipstick is no joke. If you apply it on your lips, it is not going anywhere. These are waterproof and I just think the formula on these are so amazing. And if you're looking for a super long wearing non-budging liquid lipstick, this will be your lifesaver. Again, this is by LA Splash. The other liquid lipstick that I have from only one brand, this is the Ofra, Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Laguna Beach. Now this is such a pretty color, but unfortunately I don't wear it as much as I wish I would. And the reason for that is because I don't love pinks on myself. So this is the color right here. This is a really pretty color and the formula on these Ofra liquid lipsticks is amazing. I think this is the most comfortable formula um, that I've tried. Um, I think this is one of the most comfortable formulas from the ones that I have, aside to some other ones that I will mention in just a minute. But this is a very good um, liquid lipstick because it's not too heavy, it's not over drying. You don't even feel it when you're wearing it. You literally forget that you're wearing anything. Like I said, I just don't reach out for it the most just because of the color. If it was maybe like a nude or a brown or just, I don't know, something mauve -y, I think I would definitely use it a lot. Next, I want to talk about these two liquid lipsticks, and these are both by the brand Sephora. Um, I came across the Sephora liquid lipsticks a long time ago. I think it was maybe sometime around last year. And I was looking for Kat Von D Lolita, and it's always, it's been sold out, so I can never get my hands on it. And the girl, she's like, oh, you know, well, you should get this color. It's not like Lolita, but it has those mauve undertones that you're looking for. So I was like, okay, whatever, I'll give it a try. It was only $13. And uh, I love this. These are so comfortable on the lips. They do not dry out my lips whatsoever. I don't feel like I'm wearing any liquid lipstick when I'm wearing these. And these do dry to a complete matte formula. I have only two colors. This one is 04. I honestly don't know why it doesn't have the name on them. But this is 04, which is one of their most popular shades. It is this one right here, and it's an absolute perfect fall color. I don't even care if it's fall. I still, you know, wear whatever lipstick color I want to wear, but it's so pretty. And then the other one that I have is this bright red one, and this is 01. I know they have names, but for some reason, mine don't come with names. I don't know if that's for everybody. But this is just a true classic red with the blue undertones it's this one right here and it's just absolutely gorgeous i love this they're only 13 dollars. they are very long lasting and i just love the formula like if i could have all these liquid lipsticks and have that same formula it would just be like heaven made on my lips so yeah these are the sephora what are these called the rouge cream lip stains 
All right, so now we're gonna move on to the Ulta liquid lipstick. This one is in the color Tender. This one is one of my favorites. It's a really pretty peachy nude color. It's this one right here. And this looks so pretty, I love it. I just love this one. And then I have Artistic, which is more of a baby doll pink. Honestly, I don't know why I got this one. I think it was because it was just like an impulse buy. I don't really like it just because, again, I don't wear pinks. I don't like pinks. So it's that one right there. And then the very last one that I have is called Steering, which is a really gorgeous, um, vampy, uh, dark, like a dark, dark red. It is so pretty for the fall. It is that one right there. It actually has a really good retail price. It's only $9, which is really not bad. And the tube is pretty big, so you're getting a lot of products. I also really like the doe foot applicator because it's those ones where it's flat so it lets you apply it really nicely. Now the only thing that I don't love about these products is that for example I think it was about a week or two weeks ago I went out with some friends and my boyfriend and I was wearing this exact liquid lipstick. I put on a layer before I went and then we ate and then I just kind of retouched you know usually right here in the middle of your mouth. And then by the time we had left Park City, which I was, you know, getting ready to go home, I just needed to retouch up just a little bit. And I did notice that everything was starting to crumble. Like you could see like little crumbles in my mouth and I could feel them when I was going. I would just feel like little bolitas, you know. I don't even know how to describe it. But I literally, I just, I had to take it off. Like I couldn't stand it. I could feel all those little crumbles in my mouth and it was driving me crazy crazy so I definitely don't recommend for you to layer these these can get a little bit tacky on the lips when you go like this they can get just a little bit tacky not overwhelming they're not my favorites but they're definitely not bad products if you are on a budget and you're just looking to pick something up really quick then I think you should give these a try maybe just pick one up see how you like it if you don't like it then you don't buy anymore next I have some of the LA girl matte flat finish pigment glosses. I'm not going to go too much into detail with these because I do have a full on review with swatches on these pigment glosses. And let me just tell you that the formula on these are pretty freaking amazing. This one, I it sucks. If you're going to get any of these, don't get this one. This is in the color Fantasy. It's just really streaky when you apply it. Um, I remember I had to layer it on so much and it just looked patchy. I know that with some of these glosses, this one right here by the way I know with some of these glosses um, a lot of people were complaining that either it was the lighter colors or the really dark vampy colors were really patchy I would definitely say maybe look up some swatches of people that have the whole collection you'll be able to see which ones are patchy which ones are not these are really inexpensive I believe they're only five to six dollars the piece you can find them at eBay you can find them on Amazon you can find them at LA girl um, cosmetics I got mine off of eBay they were six dollars for I think fifty. I mean, they were six lipsticks for I think fifteen dollars and free shipping, which was a pretty good deal. I do like these. Like I said, just be careful with the ones that you choose because not all of them are good. The formula is really good, and the staying power on these are pretty good as well. And the next, I have the most newest, I guess, um, liquid lipsticks that I know have came out. I could be totally wrong, but these are the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipsticks. I have six of them. I seriously want them all, but they weren't available. So these are the ones that I have. These Liquid Suede Cream Lipsticks are a little bit different. They will dry down to a matte, but they won't dry completely to a matte. These are also really comfortable to wear. I really, really like these. Now the formula on these are again really comfortable to wear and I don't feel like I'm wearing too much of a dry matte liquid lipstick on my lips. Unfortunately with these, they are not super dry. You will see a little bit of transfer. It's nothing too crazy. That's the only thing that I have to say that is bad about them. Honestly, it doesn't bug me because just the formula on them and how comfortable they are on the lips just totally makes up for it. These NYX um, cream what? liquid suede lipsticks um, are for $7, which is a really reasonable price. Okay, and then the very last um, liquid lipsticks that I have, and these are the ones that I have the most, 
are the ColourPop Liquid Lippies. And I have quite a few of these. So when they first launched, I'm not going to lie, I was one of those crazy girls that was just sitting on her ass, refreshing the website to get these. So the first one that I have here is called Highball. This is a gorgeous, really intense neon pink. I also got Koala. The reason why I wanted this one is because you guys know me that I like my crazy bright colors. And this is a pretty color, but I don't like that it makes your teeth look yellow. So no matter what, your teeth just look yellow because of the undertones that it has. One of my absolute favorite ones is Bumble. I've worn this I don't know how many times and I just, I love it. I even got my sister to get it because she loved it so much. That's Bumble right there. I got Midi, which I think is uh, the second to lightest color. It is so pretty. It's a really pretty muted nude. I also have Tool, which Tool, it is another one of my favorites. This is a perfect color for the fall. I believe this is the lightest one out of all, which is Vice. And a lot of people have compared it to... Hollywood or So Hollywood by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I don't own that one, so I really don't know if it's true or not. Then I got Limbo. This is the one that I'm actually wearing on my lips today. And I'll tell you what else I paired it up with. This is another one of my favorites. It is just that perfect brown fall color again. Super pretty. Trap, trap is what I have in the center of my lips, which it gives me that chola look. Trap is that one right there. That one is pretty similar to Goldish by LA Splash. And I also have Solo. Solo is another gorgeous color. I don't use this one as often, but it is really pretty. And if you mix them with each other, you can make some pretty, pretty colors. Now, a lot of people that I know either hate or love the ColourPop liquid lipsticks. I personally love them. I've obviously ordered some more. I do think that the formula is not the best and the reason why is because the the formula is really really thin so it dries these are not the type of liquid lipsticks that you can layer if you layer them either a it's just going to look a hot mess or b you are going to be getting that crumbling effect that a lot of people were complaining about i don't remember with which ones but i have gotten that issue where if I do layer it, you know, it kind of crumbles. Or if you layer on too much, it just looks really thick on the lips and it looks disgusting. With these, it's just like kind of like a one-time try on your lips and if you fail, like you seriously need to take it off and just put it back on, otherwise it's just not going to look cute. Nonetheless, I really like ColourPop. I think the price is freaking amazing. They're only $6 and the color selection on these are beyond amazing. I know that they recently released some new ones and I got my hand on one, two, three, four, five. I got this super cool one, which is a blue one called Jellies. This is from their old collection, their first collection, Lux, but I didn't order it then, so I got it now. And then I got a purple one, which is called Bedazzled. Another purple one, I, I guess I like purple lipsticks. And then I also got Beeper, which is a new one. This is, oh my god, guys, this, you have to get this one out of all the ColourPop try this one it's a really pretty brown let me let me give you this one it's this one right here when it dries it just it looks so pretty i love this one and then the last one that i got is called guess and it's just a really dark purple it almost looks black so those are all my liquid lipsticks i know that i don't have any that i hate because uh, I just wouldn't keep them. I'm that type of person that I don't keep things. I just either pass them on or throw them away. I absolutely love all of these. Some of them, you know, I'm just like, I, I wouldn't buy them again. Like, for example, the Ulta lip creams. I just, I won't buy any more just because I don't love the formula. So that is everything for today's, so that is everything for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.